we are going to take the derivative of ln of ln of ln x. And the key is that we are going to use the chain rule carefully. So because of this ln, the derivative of this is going to be 1 over whatever we have inside. So let's do that. 1 over, and the inside right here is ln ln x. And let me use ln, parentheses, ln x like that. All right? Now, we are going to multiply the inside, the derivative of the inside which is this part. So if we focus on this part, the derivative of this is going to be, once again, because it's ln of something, the derivative of that is going to be 1 over this, 1 over, which is ln x. But then we are not done yet, because this is the inside. We have to take the derivative of the inside again. So this part is ln x, and the derivative of, of ln x is just going to be 1 over x. So we have this. And that's pretty much it. This is just a matter of keeping track of the chain rule. Now we can put the, um, all the things together as 1 over, usually we like to write x first, times ln x, times ln L of ln x, like that. And as you can see, um, which one is the answer, which is e, right? e is the answer for it.